It's time for Christmas decoration fun in downtown Sylvania. There are so many inexpensive ways to add accents to your Sylvanian family's buildings. Craft tape, buttons, stickers from the craft store and dollar stores can add beautiful festive delight to your Sylvanian village. For this display, I used the village cake shop with the Red Roof Country Home and all the other accessories like the Cozy Cottage, the Raspberry Home, the Deluxe Celebration Home, and a vintage bakery, and made some alleys by overlapping the buildings on the second level. So like some real towns, there's stores on the ground level, and then homes on the top where we have different Sylvanian families living. You can see that there are two alleys on the ground level, and then on the left is the vintage bakery. And then in the middle on the ground level, I took the raspberry home and I turned that into a toy maker shop. On the ground level to the left, that yellow part of the Red Roof Country Home is a sewing and tailor shop. Then the beautiful village cake shop is on top of that. And then all the other homes above are living spaces. Let's start our tour. On the ground to the left, we have a sweet shop. We have the Persian Cat White Christmas Girls welcoming all the customers to buy sweet treats for the holidays. Look at those decorated cookies. And then we have a chocolate tin at the top right. And above that, we have the outdoor patio from a living space where a big ice cream sundae is there with some extra hot fudge to put on top. What a sweet winter delight. Next, we have the dressmaker and tailor shop where you can come and buy all your fabrics or get your dresses made or anything mended. I used a really inexpensive sticker to make that Christmas garland on top of the window and it looks so beautiful. And then we have the Village Cake Shop dressed up with craft tape and some buttons there for the gingerbread at either corner. And mm, look at that scrumptious cake with berries on top in the window. Those swan pastries in the background are sure going to draw in the customers. Oh, in the next window we have another yummy looking cake there with whipped topping and delectable cupcakes. Above the cake shop we have residence. A nice Sylvanian family lives there and they have the wreath on their door and such decorative trim on the outside of the building. And moving back down, we have an alley separating two shops and a nutcracker soldier guarding the alley. Need gifts for the Critter Kitties? Come to the toy shop. You could get all sorts of dollhouses and soldiers, any type of doll or toy you need to put under the Christmas tree. You can also get your toys fixed here. The critters always wonder what the toy maker has made since their last visit. It looks like there's some new farm animals there. And above the toy maker shop, we have another home with Christmas decorations with a wreath on the door and a decoration on either side of the door. And between the toy maker's shop and the bakery, we have another alley, and then you can see through to the downtown Christmas tree where everyone gathers at night. But before you get to the tree, you won't be able to pass up those delectable goods in the bakery window, cakes and fresh bread, croissants and donuts, even all types of pies for your holiday needs. Jolly Christmas this year. And the critters are always anticipating what will the baker put in the window for somebody to come by and buy real quick. Looks like we have caramel apples over there and some freshly baked cookies. And up top, we have another critter home. And it looks like the ivy has been transformed into Christmas holly. There are decorative elf figurines at the door. Christmas wreath and garland and a nice snowflake type star in the window. And when you walk down the street, say hello to 
the friends you know and everyone you meet. Ho, ho, the mistletoe. And what do we have here on the side of the bakery? Every year, the children get so excited to see what new mural will be put up. Looks like we have a gingerbread village. Lovely trees and gingerbread houses. How fun. And there's outdoor seating on the top of the bakery and movie advertisements. Look at that movie poster, Babes in Toyland. The critters get so excited when this plays every year around the holidays. They really get a kick out of those human beings, Laurel and Hardy, acting all silly in fairy tale land. And what elegant silver Christmas decorations on the outside of this home. Next to the bakery, you can get all of your holiday cheeses at the cheese shop. Before we take a tour of the inside, this is the opposite side of the building exterior with the lovely windows and more Christmas decor. Have a holly jolly Christmas, it's the best time of the year. And here's a look at the interior and we'll go through all of the rooms. Let's take a look at the cheese shop. Oh, there's the mouse critter with all of his delectable cheeses on display. We have some nutcrackers there in the background for Christmas. And look at those scrumptious cheeses from all around the world. The critters can also get their wine here or cider and their olives and some grapes and cherries available to make a little gift box with cheese. And at night, the lantern is lit and everything is so cozy with a warm glow. Next, let's check out the bakery. Those are the stairs that take you up to the seating area. Let's move them away and we'll take a look inside the shop. Got all the ovens working hard in the corner. Fresh bread just waiting to come out. And the work area, all oh, look at those eggs waiting to be mixed with flour and make another batch of bread. On the opposite side, we have a display with chocolates and candies and jams and jellies for sale. Every year, the baker makes a new style of gingerbread house out of bread to display in the window. Above the bakery, we have a home with that classic brown furniture kitchen, so warm and inviting. Say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet. Ho, ho, the mistletoe hung where you can see. Above the kitchen, we have the bedroom. And I wonder which critter family lives in this Christmas cozy room. Well, that portrait on the wall right here is Great Aunt Martha the Sheep. The critters have their stockings hanging for Santa to fill on Christmas Eve. Christmas. 
And on the wall there, we have another family portrait. This is actually Grandpa Alfred when he was a boy. Have a holly, jolly Christmas. On top, we have the children's room with their desk and all of their toys with the dollhouses in the back and fairy tale artwork on the walls. Somebody waits for you, yes sir, once for me. Have a holly jolly Christmas, and in case you didn't hear, oh by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. It wouldn't be a real alley without a little mouse. And next we have the toy maker shop. There's a work table there for little elves to fix toys and make toys. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow. So this is how it works. For about a couple of months before the holidays, things get really busy in the toy maker shop. And the toy maker has the elves working 24 hours around the clock. How does he do it? Well, at any given time, you have a couple of elves who are making the toys and fixing the toys. There's an elf who takes care of the books and checks in the toys and keeps the inventories and the receipts. There's a picture of Santa Claus on their shelf there to keep them inspired. Now, while some elves are working, there are a couple of elves who are taking their break and the toy maker has some nice cookies set out for them and hot apple cider, jam. And the toy maker has his rocking chair and his inspirational portrait of Puss in Boots there on the wall. In the back corner, we have a stove, then there's a frying pan in the sink, a pot full of food, maybe for dinner, and potatoes over there in the sack. On the top floor, we have the bedroom with a toy maker's really cozy bed. And above the bed are nice drawings of circus animals. There's a wood-burning stove in the back and a wash tub. Fun pictures on the wall for the little elves. Two beds for at any given time. There are two elves at least that are sleeping while the others are working or having their snacks. And that's how the toy maker runs his business successfully during Christmas time to get all the toys fixed and all the presents made in time. There's even an attic up top with some toys and musical instruments, old dollhouses. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Here we have another alley with a trash can. And then the next shop over is the dressmaker and tailor shop. Got sewing machines all ready for work patterns and measuring tape on the table. Look at those little threads on the floor. Somebody's been hard at work. Dress forms in the back, maybe getting alterations, maybe newly made dresses. Fabric for every occasion, even some nice red fabric there for Christmas. Up above that, we have the village cake shop. Now the critters wake up very early in the morning to get started on their cakes. And this one's all done, well frosted and decorated. The shop is well stocked now with all the cakes and pies and tarts and pastries made for the day, ready to open up for their first customer in the morning. There's even a holiday cake roll there ready just below the portrait of Santa Claus. Yes, sir, once for me. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And in case you didn't hear, oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas.
Christmas of this year. Above the cake shop, we have another critter home. What a lovely kitchen with a blue and white tile. And somebody's really busy there in the kitchen. We have a well-stocked pantry. A lovely Christmas tree with presents underneath. And we have the kitchen island all ready to go. Hmm, looks like somebody is cutting up some Granny Smith apples to make an apple pie. Have a holly jolly Christmas And when you walk down the street Say hello to friends you know And everyone you meet Ho, ho, the mistletoe well, they must have been really busy because there's already another pie there cooling on the table. On the next floor is the living room. Nice seating and the coffee table there with crackers and cheese and treats. The critters are going to entertain on the piano and sing holiday songs. We have another nice Christmas tree in the back. And the top floor is the bedroom. So let's move on to the next building in town where we have the florist shop. It is well stocked with fresh flowers, succulents, and plants ready to bring spring cheer on any dreary winter day. The only place in town where you can get cacti year-round. You can also buy a gnome for your garden and then there's holiday gift wrap you can get. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas, and when you walk down the street, say hello to friends you know. And everyone you meet. Above the flower shop is another critter home. There's a nice, warm, inviting kitchen, lovely tile floor, fresh peaches on the table, and the critters were getting their dinner ready and cooking for the holidays, but they decided to take a little break there, so they're having creme brulee with tea as a treat. There's a nice sitting room with a warm fireplace. And then the top floor is a lovely bedroom all decked out for the holidays. They even have the red Christmas drapery going on. Whimsical reindeer decorations. Somebody has a present hiding there underneath the bed. And what a beautiful bed with crisp white sheets like perfect snow on a Christmas day. So this is downtown ready for a Critter Christmas. I hope to make another video with some lights going on and some critters thrown in, having a great time, and even enjoying an outdoor winter celebration. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. 
I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas, and when you walk down the street, say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet. <laughs> 